Hey there, I'm your host Lesawi, and in today's video, I will show you how to create AI patrol. So if I go and hit the play button over here, we will see that our NPC will move to the first of the four locations. I have a random time between one and two seconds between each position. Now the time is short for the purpose of the overview, but of course you can customize that. So this is going to loop over and over again. Now, let's say you don't care about the order of the positions, you just care about the locations. Well, in that case, we can simply get the random integer and that will sort it out for you. So with all that said, let's begin. Open up your project and let's go to the content drawer. Now over here, you simply want to go to your AI. I'll be using my BP underscore NPC. So inside of this, we want to right click and create a custom event. For this, I'll call it guard patrol. But of course, you can call this whatever you like. From here, I simply want to set my character speed to be walking speed. So character movement, set speed, and I will get the set max walk speed node. And for the speed itself, I think a value of 150 will suit me fine, just like so. Next, let's get the AI move to. And for pawn, we will say self. And for the destination, this will be our patrol, we can create a variable. So for this variable, call it something like patrol location. And for the type, we want this to be a vector. And we want to make this an array. Next, we should also say instance editable and expose on spawn, because we won't be setting any values in the editor, but inside of our game world. So that's fine. Then let's get this, get a copy and simply log that into there. Then for this little zero, which is an integer, just promote this to a variable and call it locations. So from this, we can do a delay. So press D and left mouse button. So on success, we can have a delay. If you don't want to, that's fine. Just exclude this. And from the duration, I want a random amount. So random float in range. And it will simply get a random value between the minimum and the maximum. So for the minimum, we can say one second and for the max, for example, three seconds. So next we can call this event back again. So we loop this guard patrol just like so. And next let's get our locations. We will increment this by one. Actually, that's a plus. That's my bad. We want to increment this value. Log that into there. And next, we want to get our locations. And if our locations are equal to um, four, because I want to have four locations. So essentially, whatever, whatever amount of locations you have, just plug that into here. Get a branch. So if this is going to be true, then I'm going to set my uh, locations back to zero. Otherwise, it'll just keep uh, incrementing the value, but I have no other locations. So it'll break the code. So on true, simply get the locations and set it just like that. And with that said, we can actually compile this code or comment this code and I'll call it patrol. And we can compile everything and save it. So inside of our game, select your NPC. And over here, if we scroll down over or under default, we will see something called patrol locations. So add the four locations you have that you want. And to add the locations, get your NPC get the location right click copy then over here just paste that will be my location one if i move the npc we can copy and plug that into index one that's my location two uh copy location three and if this is confusing you it's because the index is uh, starting on zero so don't worry about that copy and plug that into the there so now if we hit play our NPC will move uh, to those locations. And one more thing I should say, um, make sure you have the bounce mesh volume, nav mesh bounce volume, otherwise your NPC won't be able to move in the world. So if you have that, you're all set, let's hit play, and our NPC should start to move. And he's not moving because I forgot to call this event at the event begin play. So simply call guard patrol. And if we compile, now he should begin to walk. So there we go. Location one was here. Location two was there. And he's waiting the random amount between one and three seconds. 
Now, let's say you don't care about the order of everything. Simply go back to your code. You can delete all of these integers, all of that. And from here, what you could do is get length. Simply length, I think, will do. And from this point onward, we can do a random integer. And if we plug that into there, it'll get a random value between the four patrols you have and it'll execute it. And it'll continue to loop. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And as always, happy developing.